Hi, my name is Quentin Fears, and I'm at Hudson Square, right outside the men's boutique Atelier, that features designers like Andy Mulemeester, Yoji Yamamoto, and Comme des Garçons. I'm going to talk to one of the owners, Carlo Still, about the boutique and featured designers, and to see if I can get a discount. So let's go in. How long have you had the store here in New York City? Fall 2002. And you just moved locations about a year ago? Uh, December, yes. So how do you like the new space? I'm very happy with it. The clothing here has a different sort of silhouette. Is that something you're interested in? I definitely try to look for new silhouettes. So much of menswear is about styling, taking uh, the existing template and just sort of rearranging it and making it applicable for today. I try to find things that sort of break that mold. How do you go about picking some of the designers here in the store? There is no criteria. Um, I just have to like it and I have to be drawn to it and I have to respect the designer's point of view. I like very destroyed things. Also, I like things that are very smooth, and very polished. I'm very drawn to non-colors, blacks, grays, whites, beige. Very like monochromatic. Very monochromatic. Are there any great trends for fall? I'm very aware of trends, but I don't necessarily follow them. One of the things that I am very drawn to right now is this notion of clothing without gender that seems to be sort of a, a more modern idea. So that's something that I'm exploring, clothing for people. So are you finding you're getting a lot of female clients? Yeah, yeah we have a sizable women's clientele. What are some of the designers that you have here at Atelier? Carol Christian Paul, Comme de Garçon, Julius, which is out of Japan, Boris Bijan Sabiri. Is there any way I can get a discount at the store? Sure. sure. Oh, awesome! <laughs> That's really great. Well, thank you so much for talking to me, and um, I look forward to coming to some parties and uh, doing a little shopping here. <laughs>